So um, the next thing to do would be to, remember on the outside of the building, we're, we're going to sheathe it now. We're going to go along the outside of the building and put OSB or plywood on. So we'll do that. We're ready for our first uh, installation of our first piece of, this sheet represents, it's, half, it's quarter inch plywood, but it really represents a uh, half inch uh, OSB board. Now, what uh, the last job I did, what I did before I put this piece up was, excuse me, I actually, um, let's take this down for a sec, Peter. Um, I foam sealed along the edges here, along the bottom over here, and all, all of the outside perimeter edges and the edges around the window, so that when the sheet went up, the, sh it, the sheet was resting on a bed of foam, again stopping air movement from moving behind the sheet and in from cavity to cavity. It's uh, very precautionary, um, but I did it because I just wanted to make sure this building was not going to leak air. So let's get the sheet up. So now we're... Now, of course, this represents a 12-penny plywood shear nail, but it's only a, a simple that metal clip will hold it when you get the mm -hmm. foam on. Okay, so... Now, just we have to pretend again. We've done this all around the entire perimeter building. So when, it looks like when you drive by and you see a house that's just been plywooded on the outside, that's what we're pretending we're looking at here. Um, and remember, behind each sheet, it was sealed with foam or caulking. Um, and now we're ready for the next part of the assembly, which would be furring out the walls uh, around the windows and doors for the foam, which will, will make sense when I get to the foam. What I've done in the past, I've experimented with, uh, with using this foam in different applications. And uh, I would just lay a long bead of foam down, and then I would screw on a sample piece of OSB onto it into a wet bed of foam. Then I would wait five minutes and screw another one on. And I experimented with setting OSB on top of foam and then taking it off to see how it, it uh, embedded into the foam. And what happens is, when you lay foam down, you put OSB over it. When it's wet, it just fills up all the gaps, and it almost acts as an adhesive. If you wait five minutes or ten minutes, it um, does almost the same job, but it completely seals between whatever the two pieces are going together. The foam oozes out and fills in all the cracks. So that's why I prefer it, because it's a really um, almost a bomb-proof way to assure that you're sealing between two layers. It could be two-by-fours or anything. If you put them together with foam, it's going to uh, fill up the, uh, the gaps. So, so we used an abbreviation here, OSB, which stands for Oriented Strand Board. And so basically, it's like plywood, only you don't have to use whole trees to make it. You use a bunch of chips that are left over in the wood fabrication process, and you glue them together. So it's a way of taking recycled pieces of wood and making something in a big sheet that you can use in place of having to use whole pieces of trees.